Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying with Jim Ashura. Today I'm going to tie a pattern from a book that I have and this book was published in 1940 and it is called Fly Tying by William Bayard Sturgis and the first fly that I'm going to choose from this is going to be a olive quill, a light olive quill. First thing I need to do is I need to strip a peacock hurl. So I'm going to move my vise and I'm going to show you the stripping the peacock hurl. Here I have three light olive peacock hurl and here I have a non-dyed peacock hurl. I'm just going to, I have the tip here, I'm going to hold the tip of my finger and here I have a small piece of foam. I showed you this foam when I showed you my fly tying setup and this is the sample of the sole of a sneaker but a pencil eraser and a desk a desktop eraser and a softer one at that will work great. So we're going to hold it by the tip and we're just going to run the piece of foam down it. You can see it coming off on there. And it broke on me. That's okay. I got plenty here for for use. And then if you only get one side, you can flip it over and you'll get the other side. Just run it on there several times and it will come off. You can see it coming off nicely now. With this soft foam, I'm pressing pretty hard with this really soft foam. So that one is stripped pretty good and I'm going to move that over and I'm going to take the one of the light olive ones. I'm going to hold it by the tip just like the other and I'm going to run that down it. Now these light olive ones were dyed so these were actually bleached and then dyed. So they might be a little more fragile. You can see them all coming off. I'm going to flip it over. Try to get that over. And continue rubbing. There is easier ways that you plan on using a lot of strip peacock curl. There's ways of taking them off chemically by putting bleach and water together. But for the most part, for us guys that are just tying small amounts, using a pencil eraser is works fine. So that's how you remove the hurl from the peacock hurl. Bring our vise back up and zoom it back in. I'm going to use a light olive gray thread. This book does not tell you thread colors. I'm going to start the thread behind the eye and I'm going to come back halfway and bring it forward half of that. And that's going to be our wing placement. Now for the wing, it calls for a lemon wood duck, so I'm going to take the wood duck feathers that I got from the hunter, and these are kind of light, so I'm actually going to use two on this. They're kind of thin at the tops there, so I'm going to use two of them. Grab that second one, I'm going to put them together before I tie them on. I have the tips aligned 
and I'm just going to gather everything together make sure those tips stay aligned there there we go this will be plenty of wing to divide I'm gonna make this wing the length of the hook shank take a loose loop straight down loose loop straight down and I'm tugging on it to tighten that up there a bit give it a couple extra turns and then trim this off at an angle and we can bring our thread back to the tail position those turns touching we can even taper that out a little bit there and we stop where it's going to hang at the barb now the pattern calls for a light olive hackle for the tail and all of my olive hackles are grizzly hackles so I'm going to actually going to stand them up and here you can see this is a good example here this side is very webby and this side is stiff and you can see that web and stiff so I'm going to take some of the hackle off the stiff side and I can actually hold them up there to see where I'm going to tie them in for the length of them because these are shorter I pre-size them that little I'm gonna actually nip off that little bud on the end and we're going to tie them in and I tie them in way at from the butt down give it a wrap underneath the tail now I'm going to take my light olive hackle and I'm going to trim this out to where I'm going to tie it I'm going to leave this there's actually fuzz on the back side there but I'm going to leave this on there for now just cut the tip off I'm gonna shorten that just a little bit more we're gonna go ahead and tie this in Make sure we get that right to the tail. And bring our thread up forward. Now I'm going to go ahead and lift my wing. Wrap directly in front of it to stand it up. And a couple short ones stuck out to the front there. Now I can divide it. When you're dividing the wing, try to keep that thread as close to the base as possible. I'm going to take a wrap around the wing. Let me stand it up this direction. Just give it one wrap around the wing. Then I'm going to give it one wrap around the opposite wing. Stand that up. Now we don't have as much flare. Got one wild one there. I'll just cut that one out. Now I'm going to take my delicate hackle pliers. Peacock hurl is a delicate thing. And we're going to wrap our stripped peacock hurl. I'm going to 
turn my vise as I do this just so I can avoid that hook point. And we're going to bring this up to the wing. And now at this point I'm going to tie it in. The rest is going to be covered with the hackle. Put a couple of wraps in front. Then I can break it off. I'm going to leave my thread in front and I'm going to take my hackle once again and I'm going to prepare this. And we'll stand them up. Give it that quick crew cut. Going to tie this in. We'll get to the wing. We'll go in back. And you want to keep those pretty tight on the back side. Moving our thread up forward, just going to clean that up a little bit. And I'm going to keep my thread about halfway between the wing and the eye of the hook. Now we can wrap the hackle, and you can see I still got a little bit of the crew cut on there. And you see those that crew cut was a little bit, the clips were a little bit long. You can see how they started pushing towards the back there. Since they're clipped, they're not going to matter, but your first wrap isn't going to send big hackles towards the rear. Give it a wrap in back. Let me just, I want to get two wraps in back there. Now I'm going to hold the wing back and I'm going to brush the hackle, the wing with the hackle. And we'll get maybe three wraps in front. And we're going to tie this in. Hold that hackle at that 90 degree. And you'll have less hackle barbels going forward. Going to sweep everything back and get that thread in front of the hackle. I got a few of them sticking forward. I'm going to take my poke and snip. Trim off that hackle. Now since I got a couple of them sticking forward, I'm going to take my half inch tool. Once, twice. And I'm going to push those hackles back. Once, twice. Now I can tie the head, which there's plenty of head there now. Let's give it a couple more wraps. Take my whip finish. Take the poke and snip once more. Trim that. Put a little bit of head cement on there. We're going to clean our brush off well. And here we have a light olive quill. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends. Please visit my sponsors. Please leave comments, questions, suggestions. If you'd like to purchase any of the flies I make, go to etsy.com slash shop slash the flyman gym. And if you don't see it, 
send me a message and we'll figure it out. And most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.